So let's say that you work at an advertising firm. You have a table of user impressions of ad campaigns over time. Write a query to find all users that are currently excited by a campaign and have never been bored with that campaign in the past. And so excited is actually the value for the impression ID and bored is also a value for the impression ID, but there could be other values uh, within that impression ID too, like uh, okay and um, I don't know, something else. Okay. So the way I'm thinking about approaching this one is to start off with kind of just looking for people that are excited and filtering from there. So I want to select user ID from ad impressions where, uh, I guess I want to do one, where impression ID equals cited. So this will pull out any time a user has been recorded as excited, any user that's ever recorded excited. Um, okay. So then I'm also going to want to say, now I want to say, okay, the other <clears throat> part of this is, but not those that have been bored. So, and I'm going to do it with a sub query. So user ID is not in not in select user ID from impressions where impression ID equals board. So looking at this one, I'm pulling out the distinct users that have ever been recorded as excited, but they're not in the subquery, and the subquery is looking for any users that have ever been bored. Okay. So I'm thinking this will be some somewhat right or possibly correct, but there's this stuff about like the time aspect of it, which I'm thinking mm. might not matter, but it, I guess they could have because if so, there's a case where they were bored after they were excited, I think this would still pick up on that. If they were bored after they were excited, this would pick up. Yeah, and that would not satisfy the condition, right? Because then uh, you're basically taking all the users that have ever been bored of all time and then taking them out of the excited pool. Whereas we only want the ones that were bo bored after or sorry we're bored after they were excited <laughs> well we want them ones that were currently excited yeah currently excited that have and i've never been bored in the past how about try submitting a solution and then seeing what happens actually so let's just see if this query runs code runs successful oh and it worked because okay. i i was thinking about the time aspect but like if they were ever bored, we don't want them to be, if they've ever been bored, because it doesn't, it doesn't specify for a specific campaign. I think it just says any campaign. Gotcha. Okay. Wait, so how does this work then? Because if you were bored in the future, so what if I was, um, okay, so it's not talking about bored before being excited. Okay, gotcha. Because okay. what I've, what I've written is, Write a query to find all users that are that have ever been excited by a campaign and have never been bored by a campaign. Gotcha. Okay. So how about let's make this query more tricky, right? And there's yeah. no way to check your solution, but let's say it is uh, excited by a specific campaign and have never been bored by that campaign in the past. That campaign ID. So then, how would we actually write this one? And you might have to rewrite my statement as well to kind of like understand a couple okay. of edge cases so, there. Query to find currently cited by a specific campaign and have 
never been bored by or with that same campaign. Right? Yeah. And so we want our output then to be, uh, would this be a combination of user ID and campaign ID then? Because yeah, then so they could be excited and bored. They could be excited and then have been bored by a different campaign. Right. right. So output would be the user ID and the uh, campaign ID that satisfies. So can't spell today. We have autocomplete now. I know, I've seen that. That's really nice. <laughs> I know. <Okay. laughs> Select user ID and campaign ID from, all right. OK, so, so we still want where they've been excited. So I think impression ID equals excited still makes sense here. So is this possibly going to be another self-join where I'm looking at, I'm joining on the campaign ID and the user ID yep. um, and not where the, so I'd be joining on campaign and user and definitely where like the second ones doesn't equal board. Yeah. So I think we want to subset basically one part of the data set to be basically user ID, campaign ID, and then if the user was bored along with like the date. So we could select basically this copy this exact same query that you have, but set impression ID equal to board, right? And this would be like a subquery. And then we join on the two and we'd probably do a left join. And if the value doesn't match up because of the left join, then we know that they've never been bored because we have basically selected all the users that were ever bored by this user ID campaign ID in the past. Right. Yeah. Okay. So then we'd left join. Is that how you do that? Yeah. You have to do it after the where, but it's probably fine. You can fix that later. Oh, before the where, yeah. Okay, from add impressions A1, join select user ID, campaign ID from add impressions. So we're joining on We're joining on the user ID, we're joining on the campaign ID. And then, okay, I think I'm, I know I'm missing some component of date and I'm not sure where I needed to go. Um, yeah, so we still need so, to grab oh. the date time of the campaign, right? And then we want to make sure that, uh, so our satisfaction is that they've never been bored in the past by that campaign, which means that they can be bored after that they're excited, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm here, that would be. Yeah, so I think that's right, so A1. Yeah, it has to be greater than a two dot date time because they have to be excited. So this this actually is showing us where they are excited now and were bored in the past. Okay, so you have to reverse it. 
so well then i could just say i could put this i could put this in a subquery and say select distinct user id where user id not in this right but then you wouldn't be able to do the join on the date and understand if you were date in the past right so let's um well, we well probably, i mean like yeah. i mean that this this query should tell me looks like at line 16 oh you ran the you ran the query up at the top too you have to comment that out I guess I want to see there. Yeah, so maybe try putting both results and just doing all of them, and then a two dot all too. So I would actually add, um, I would add uh, a two, um, and then grab all those values at the same time. So all the same ones. Diagonals. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Exactly. Yeah. The commas always get you. <laughs> and, uh, so I put them in the front. All right, so scroll down, scroll down. Let's see. Are there any board campaigns? It's almost done. Got you. So that's not as helpful. Can you sort? So I want to order, but well, I also can't scroll over. Oh, you can't? Like left, right, right? Because I miss. Well, I can probably take out. So where do you think we got confused here? So. I think maybe try actually running the second query to see how many board campaigns there are. Just uh, this so, one? yeah. Can I just do that? I don't think so. You have to copy it out and then uh, comment out the other one. Okay, so there are user IDs and campaign IDs where they're born. So, how, where are there like null campaign IDs? Uh, I'm not sure. That's probably just a. Just a generic thing found in the database, but they wouldn't be joined then. So I think you're pretty much on the right track. So if you go back up and uh, on com uncomment that one, I think generally probably what's happened is there are none in this playground database. Um, the yeah, with the tagging. But I think the one thing we have to be careful of is that right now it says the excited campaigns are after the board campaigns, right? But we're not subsetting out any of these um, board campaigns. So we care if the excited campaigns are after the board campaigns, that's fine. But then we have to find out where the board campaigns are equal to null. Because if they do actually join, then that's where we get an error. I guess maybe also, would I just make this not equal to board? Uh, if you made it not equal to board, then we would be left joining on uh, only excited campaigns. And so those ones would match. Because we don't want to know when they were, we don't want to pull out records of when they were bored, if they've been bored in the past. And earlier. <laughs> this one's interesting. <laughs> yeah, this one's a little confusing as well. But. So uh, to, I think generally the board campaigns, so we care about, um, let's see, let's break this down again. User ID, campaign ID, they're excited and sorry, go up again on like what the conditions were. And they've never been bored by the same campaign in the past. So where board does not exist. So because that they were bored in the past, then yeah, I think this is where we want to go all the way down and we just want to say where the value is equal to null. So we will care about where A2 is equal to null because if it doesn't join and we want to switch impression ID to equal board, right? So we're basically grabbing every single ad campaign where they were bored in the past. And then we're joining it back and if it doesn't match on the user ID, it doesn't match on the campaign ID, fine, doesn't matter, right? We're filtering all those out. But if it does match on both of those, 
and it matches on the fact where the date of the excited was after that they were born, then that's a condition that we don't want, right? So basically we want it, we want all the values that are null here, essentially. Yeah. So then a one, yeah, a two dot ID is then equal to null. User ID? Yeah. Any ID, yeah, basically. Is uh is null, I think. Yeah. Sweet. So let's run that and see what we get. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, so these are all correct because all those values on the right side are null. Yeah. I'm just gonna put this and see if that changes something. I because I can't see. Yeah. Now I think what would be different is if we cared about the value where it was um so let's do something else where we basically take out the value of the campaign ID joining. And instead, instead of being based on the campaign ID, we just say like, was a user ever bored in the past, right? Was a user ever bored beforehand? So remove that join on line 32 on the end, and then see what happens when you grab both of those values and then you run it. Or and, and you remove a two dot user ID is null because then that would um, also remove all those values. Okay, yeah. If we run this. Okay, cool. Now let's see. So scroll down. Can you scroll to the right? This is all there are. I, okay. I made it just those. This is the. Right. Can earlier. you grab the a two dot values as well? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe all of them, yeah. Oh, now I can scroll, okay. Okay, oh, nice, okay. So we can go down, we can try to see, are there any user values where they were bored in the past? There should be, we had all of those before. So were they, they're currently excited and they were bored in the past, right? Yeah. I think that's this. Okay, so it looks like there are no users that have duplicate values in this table. So that's why this doesn't show up. But there are campaigns that have duplicate values. So that's why it's a little different. Oh, and so that's why it worked was because it didn't it didn't matter about a specific campaign. Yeah. So no no user has had the same impression or so had like multiple impressions for the same campaign. No. Hmm. But I think this would work with this back here. Yeah, I think it did work. So I think we're, cool. yeah. Sweet, okay, cool. That was an interesting one. I, I really enjoyed that. <laughs>